Hey everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in seeing quite a few different Black Friday deals, not only at major retailers, but maybe you want to learn some strategies for Black Friday shopping, including whether or not you should look into some of these membership programs, stay tuned. I'm covering the basics in today's video. Now before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so to get started, I do just have a sample location set on all of these, and I am doing this in a Google Incognito browser. I would recommend as the first strategy that you check between your actual traditional browser and then running in some kind of an incognito browser just to see if you get any kinds of different deals or anything else, just because there are often a lot of targeted advertisements. Now, the next thing that I would recommend is looking into some of these early access membership programs or membership programs in general. I do see that Walmart and Best Buy both have these. Now, one thing to note, these are often recurring fees. So my recommendation is to check the deals that you're going to be getting just to make sure that you can offset the expense of that membership. So, for example... If you were to go to Best Buy and you found out that you can get a deal on appliances and that deal gives you $100 off as a member price, then it might be worth spending $50 on a Plus membership, which is what I did. I got $100 off the appliance and I actually bought the appliance during a period where they had a deal where if you spend $500, you get $50 off. So basically, for $50, I paid for the subscription, I got a $100 deal on an appliance that I couldn't find a better deal elsewhere, and then I am also going to be getting a $50 credit in the next couple of weeks. Now, the main thing to note when you're doing this, not only make sure that you understand the terms and conditions, also understand the terms and conditions of offers. Just because you get a credit or a promotion does not mean that you're going to get it at the same time as all of these promotions are going on. So... Now that we've covered those two things very, very quickly, let's cover some of the better deals. Now, the majority of the time, you're going to find deals really just by <clears throat> looking through the actual advertisements. So if we go to the Walmart website, you can shop by category, and I can't cover everything in this video, so you'll see just a bunch of random flash deals. It does seem like the way things are going now, you're typically going to see these deals come up regularly. It's not just a one-time, here are all of our deals situation or advertisement. It's more of um, almost like waves that come through. So if we scroll through, you could regularly check out their flash deals and things of that nature, but you can also click to explore the deals if you want to get that early access and see what's out there. Now, if you find something you like, <clears throat> for example, let's just say you want this TV, you'll see it's early access eligible, and then it's available at Walmart. Sometimes early access is going to be a worthwhile thing to look into because obviously if this goes back to full price or it goes out of stock, you may not even have the option to get it. So that's one thing to note. The second thing to note is comparing across different retailers. For example, if I'm not mistaken, ONN is the Walmart brand. So you may want to check, okay, if this isn't available at another retailer, maybe check if that retailer's brand is competitive. So when we scroll through, we're going to look at a couple of different deals because some of the major deals that I usually cover in YouTube Shorts are going to be TVs and computers. So I've seen tons of deals on TVs specifically. So as we're scrolling through, you can typically just find an item that you like, and you'll typically see the deals beneath that item. So this option here, for example, is a 55-inch 4K TCL TV for $188 on November 22nd. Now, as you're scrolling through, typically you'll see some kind of a sponsored ad nearby, and then you can continue to scroll through, and usually near the bottom of the page, you'll also see related products, and you can see an estimate of how many are in an individual's cart. So you can scroll through and see the related products here, but you also have the option to go to the department section, and then you can scroll through based on the various departments and see what you may be interested in checking out there. They do have a deals section, <clears throat> and then again, you can typically scroll through in the deals section, and if you want to go by electronics, for example. So starting with Walmart, we'll see that we have quite a few different electronic options. So if we were to sort by TVs, for example, we can scroll through and see the deals, and then if you want, you can try to further sort, but typically you could sort, most people will sort by low price, for example, or high price. So as you're scrolling through, you'll see that some of the better deals, in my opinion, tend to be in the low and middle categories as far as just the price to value ratio, so to speak. So for example, <clears throat> you'll see things like 
these 43, 50, 55 inch plus TVs going for very, very competitive rates as I just kind of scroll through. I've seen this in a similar deal on other retailers' websites as well. So you'll see this is a 55-inch 4K Samsung TV, but we do have others like the ONN brand for $300. You can get a 65-inch 4K TV. Another thing that seems to be really common at Walmart is the uh, deals like this where you're getting a package deal. So in this case, a 50-inch 4K TV along with a soundbar and wireless subwoofer. So you may want to just scroll through and see what makes the most sense for you. Don't forget to check out package deals, for example, wall mounts, things of that nature. So that's going to cover most of the TV deals. Again, I'm just trying to do a very, very high level overview. So the next thing that we're going to do is we will go to the departments. We'll go to deals and then we can scroll through and click on electronics. Because another thing that I've noticed is they do have some pretty solid PC deals. So jumping through, <clears throat> we'll do the same thing here. We're going to go sort by price low, and then scroll through some of these. Now, if you want, you can go to gaming laptops or desktops specifically. Just don't forget that you're going to have to continue to reset your filters. So as we're scrolling through, you'll see that we have quite a few different options in these categories. Um, and again, the gaming desktops don't have as many out there. One of the things I did notice, though, if you were to find something like this, which I think is a really, really good deal on a gaming PC, it's a $1,300 gaming PC with an RTX 3080, which is pretty close to what you pay for that graphics card or, again, not too far off. So you can scroll through when you find something that you like and find comparable devices beneath, but you can also find more Black Friday deals that are similar probably in some way, shape, or form based on your search history and things of that nature. Although obviously these are laptops compared to a desktop. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and jump into Amazon. Now I've found that the Amazon website for me personally is a little bit more difficult to navigate, especially when you're looking for deals and just shopping around. There can be some great deals, but sometimes it seems like they're a little bit difficult to find. So scrolling through the Amazon and the Walmart marketplaces, one big thing I recommend is double checking the seller and the brand and the ratings. So oftentimes on Amazon and Walmart and many others, you'll find that you could find an item that is a great deal, but it may not be sold and shipped by Amazon. That doesn't mean that that's a bad thing, but you're going to want to double check and make sure that you're finding the reviews for that specific person or seller and not for that product in general. It can be very easy to click on ratings right here and then find ratings for the product and not necessarily for the seller. So you are going to want to make sure that you verify that. So <clears throat> scrolling through, you can go to the deals section and then see today's deals. There's tons of different categories and ways to kind of search through. And then you can scroll through based on just like you could previously at Walmart. You can select electronics and see those specific deals. Now, when it comes to Amazon, there's obviously going to be a pretty big push on Amazon brands, such as the Echo Dots and things of that nature. That is expected. Now, looking through these deals, for example, you don't see a ton of brand name items, which I think is what most people would probably be going for, but I'm assuming they're showing these because they are a little bit more popular. So in my opinion, it is a bit more difficult to kind of search and navigate the website because you have to use these kind of preset options. And again, searching in electronics, for example, you could search in all prices, but you don't have enough filters to make it easier. So if you want something, it might be easier to say something like TV in the search bar. And then you can scroll through and see what's a limited time deal, what isn't, and then kind of see what may be the best option from there. So you'll see that there are going to be some pretty comparable deals because we are looking at the Fire TV for Amazon compared to the ONN TV at Walmart. So if we look at this TV here, you'll see we have a 50 inch 4K for 289. We do have quite a few other TVs, although they are pushing the price in my opinion, because previously on Walmart, we were looking at a 55 inch Samsung TV for 300. So personally, that would be something that I would be a little bit more preferable to getting. Uh, but again, if we were to type in, for example, Samsung TV, as we kind of scroll through, you can typically sort these by brand and just a little bit more easily than you can with Amazon. So if we were to drop the price here, for example, 
and scroll through. You'll see that we have some Samsung 50 and 55 inch TVs in this range here that in my opinion are like this one is a 298 for a 55 inch and you'll see it's a 4K smart TV compared to a 339 for the Amazon brand. Again, not a bad deal, and I think you can find some great deals over on Amazon. It's just a little bit more difficult to actually search for and find them. Now, next up, we're going to go over to Target. So looking at Target, you'll see that we have quite a few different options, and they do this deal of the day, just like many other retailers are doing in some way, shape, or form. So Target can be similar to Amazon, in my opinion. However, the good thing about this is typically you can click on the Black Friday option and then see the biggest deals here. And one of the things that Target does a lot of is you can typically have either uh, some kind of a discount with their circle program, or sometimes if you buy a certain amount, then you'll get a gift card of some kind. So you'll want to weigh those options. Now, when we go to Target, you'll see some of the deals of the day. Typically, we're seeing a lot of 43, 50, and 55-inch 4K TVs discounted, so not a bad price there at all. Now, another thing we have is deals based on gaming categories and things of that nature. So, if we were to go to Deals, you can click on Top Deals or Weekly Ad if you're interested. So if we scroll through, you can actually scroll through the weekly ad here and read more about the different options and things that are available. Or you can go to the shop early and save. Again, you can preview the deals if you join Circle and just kind of see a little bit more of what's out there. And you can use this little slider here to show, but not in too much of a, uh, a specific order, unfortunately. You can also scroll through down here and see a lot of these deals such as the LG smart TVs that are 4K TVs. You'll see we have a TCL over here that's a 75 inch for 529. So quite a few different deals. So one of the things we do have this Black Friday option, which takes us back to the same page. We can also just type in TV and then see quite a few different options as we're scrolling through. And you do have a much easier way to sort based on price, which again is a little bit more user friendly than Amazon currently. You can then scroll through here and see what options are best for you. But I do still think currently that Walmart's probably the best place to go, depending on the specific brand of TV. Now, Best Buy might have, in my opinion, the best and most user-friendly Black Friday ad and website out of all of them. It's easy when you get to their landing page, you immediately know, okay, what are the categories? If I type or click on PC gaming, then I know that I'm going to land right at a page with a bunch of different deals, probably organized by the best selling or something along those lines. So scrolling through here, you can see all of these different gaming PC deals. I don't think that Best Buy has the best deals on gaming laptops, although they do have some pretty solid options like this one here that I did a YouTube short on a while back. So you can check on availability here pretty easily. Now, <clears throat> another thing to note, so those are the gaming PCs, which are relatively straightforward, but I like to use the TVs as a comparison across the board. So you'll see as we scroll through tons of different options. So like before, we can sort by different categories and we'll sort low to high. Now, in this case, we have uh, quite a few different options, including just smaller TVs and projectors, but I'm going to try to get closer to that $300 range and see how these kind of compare to the Walmart option. So you'll see here when we get to the 43 inch, that's in the 189 range. And then you'll see we actually do have the Fire TV here, the Insignia option. And as we continue to scroll through, we have the Westinghouse brand and the Samsung brand. So we'll continue to scroll through. This is the smaller version, similar version to what we were looking at earlier at Walmart. So one more page and we should be in the same category in that 300 range. So you'll see we have Samsung and Insignia right here. So we're not at most of the brand names, but you will see here that for literally one penny cheaper, if I'm not mistaken. So we have the 55 inch Samsung for 298. Here we have the 55 inch Samsung for 297.99. So obviously if you wanna save a penny, you can do that. 
but we do have the 50 inch here as well, but you do have a $20 price difference for that extra five inch size on that screen. And then we have the LG option here. And then again, it just continues on with different classes of different TVs, different sizes, things of that nature. So I think that I would say that it's a really, really tough competition between Best Buy and Walmart with these different deals, especially because Walmart does have an ONN brand TV. I did a YouTube short on it. It's a, I believe it's a 50 inch for 148 or something along those lines, but it's currently out of stock. So that covers Best Buy. Now let's finish things off with Micro Center. I left Micro Center for last because they are not in everyone's region. So in the event that you don't actually have a Micro Center near you, not a problem. You could see if they have items for shipping, but a lot of the times, most of the good deals are going to be in store. For example, if we click on this laptop here. Now, <clears throat> lately, I don't think that the Micro Center deals have been as impressive, but I think that's because we're about to see a huge jump in Black Friday deals. You'll see the deals here on the restrictions while supplies last, etc. So you can click on Black Friday categories. Scroll through, let's just say we want to look at gaming desktops. Then you can see what loads and do what we've done on the other pages and just go lowest price, for example. Wait on that to load, and as we scroll through, you can see the different options. Now, I haven't seen any just kind of like mind-blowingly good deals here just yet, but I think we're going to be seeing a lot more coming soon. And you can do the same for TVs if you're interested. Simply hit TV. And then you can scroll through and see what's available. But again, I think that Micro Center is going to be coming up with a lot more deals as time goes on. But it does have a very similar layout to Best Buy in that all the categories are just right there. And you can just click whatever you want to see and then see it load. So all in all, I hope that was helpful. The only other recommendation that I have is continue to just click or type in on Google Black Friday deals, and you can scroll through and read different articles because these are going to be getting updated pretty much every day up until and potentially after Black Friday. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.